So I am here um, in not so sunny Nottingham um, anymore, but I'm here with no other than my amazing, brilliant friend, Mr. James Hickman, five times world champion. It's you. I'm talking about you, Jane. I was looking Don't for do. someone else on Zoom here somewhere. <laughs> Five times world champion, my good friend James, and I miss him so much. And he's um, he's on lockdown in Australia. How you doing, bud? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, l well, yeah, lockdown everywhere in the world, really, isn't it? But uh, it is. actually, the sun's gone down here in sort of sunny day today. It was in Sydney, and so yeah, you've got me in in the in the spare bedroom in sunny Sydney. Yay! So James, so I just want to ask you um, some tricks of the trade, some old school tricks of the trade. So there's a lot of people not swimming at the moment, um, and you know me, I get I get worried about people losing their foot, their feet, their flexibility in their feet because you know I'm such a good kicker. You know, as Kate Vines always said, Wales, you've got amazing, amazingly strong legs. Yeah, you were always streets ahead of us both whenever we did those kick sets. Oh, this was nice. So, what was it, look, one, two, I, R2? Something like that, anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, so I just wanted to ask you about, look, keeping the keeping these feet flexible. And you used to do some, I know that we used to talk about it back in the day, you used to do some some strange things, and or actually some really simple things. So come on, talk to me about how do we keep our feet nice and flexible so when we get back in the pool, they're going to be little motors. Well, yeah, I mean, totally. Uh, foot flexibility for great kick is, uh, without a doubt, one of the most important things. Those little propellers there at the end of that kick, really. And if you can get them to slightly, they'll slightly rotate when they're kicking if they're flexible enough. So, and that that really even helps you get this extra bit of kick as it comes around. So it's about that ankle flexibility across the front of the ankle there. And yeah, I mean, I really worked myself up to some some crazy ankle flexibility. I don't know everybody's going to go for that. Certainly the triathletes out there, you know, they're doing all the pedaling and all the running like this. And so they really do need to flex the front of that ankle a, a lot more. I, I was very focused on the swim side, obviously. And one of the things I used to do um, to help that... Uh, I, ankle flexibility but I'm not going to say go straight into this because you might injure yourself but I used to rest my ankles on a kickboard like because that gives that a little bit extra cushioning in front of when I was just be watching the TV or something like that, just anything and sit on my ankles and just try to to bend them back a little bit by sitting on them and but I, just to start with, I would absolutely say just even sat in your seat while you are watching that TV, the Netflix, whatever it happens to be now, and just trying to just, first of all, your hands, just stretch that out as much as you can there, you know, on the ankles, just really give them a, a good stretch. And then you can slowly work towards a bit more, which is when you're stood, just trying to put that pressure on the ankle, and then and then maybe you'll work your way up to sitting on the kickboard. And I, even I never used to like sitting on you know, on the carpet, on the ground, on something hard. I mean, that would get really sort of achy, painful. So I wouldn't maybe suggest doing that. But um, yeah, ankle flexibility is absolutely one of those one of those big ones that I worked hard on. And um, do you know what you just reminded me? I need to probably do a little bit more again. <laughs> swimming. So I might have a little go today. You know what? I'll probably see if I can see what the kids can do versus me. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and you know, it, it's sort of like you, you did have the nickname of Dolphin Boy. So you, your legs were pretty good, weren't they, James? You know, you had, you had a good Good pair of fins, good pair of flippers on you, didn't you? Yeah, the uh, yeah the the dolphin leg kick off the turn um, was what I really kind of specialised in. I was I did a lot of plyometrics, bouncing. It was the turns as much as it was the the dolphin leg kick off there that really uh, you know was the key to why I was called that. Where I always caught people up and things. So legs. Yeah. I always used to say when I was doing my clinics. Uh, people don't think in swimming so much. It's such an upper body sport that they don't think so much about their legs. 
But if you think about the muscle mass in your legs, you know, your quads, your hands, your glutes, there's like three, four, five times what you've got in your shoulders, in your biceps, your triceps. So ultimately, if your legs aren't fit, you're never going to be fit enough to be really good because all that energy in it is spent in the unfit areas of your body. So, you know, you have got to have a good leg kick to be a good swimmer. And, and, you know, for those triathletes out there that run and cycle, I mean, that's only a benefit to have those super fit legs. They just got to then get the technique into their legs to help them swim. I know they're right. They, they back off their legs a lot, the triathletes and those guys. And so, you know, that's cool, working their upper body when they're swimming. But for the swimmers, if your legs aren't fit, then you, you're never going to be that – he's never going to find swimming that easy because they're going to take all the energy and all that muscle mass. Yeah. Words of wisdom, words of wisdom, Mr. James Hickman. How are you doing kicking the, uh, in the endless pool there, Justin? Tell, tell oh, me, Justin. I, I, I do, James, I do loads of it. I do loads of kick. You know I do. I mean, I just put that flow on, get a kick flow on, and I kick, and, I kick against that flow. You know, I'm, no, I don't do enough of it, but actually I'm going to do more of it. And I'm trying to get more flexibility in my feet because, you know, my legs are, are a real weakness in, in my swimming. Um, but I don't, um, I may not walk the talk, um, but I do talk the talk. And I do always talk about the importance of leg kick just for holding body position, for streamlining, for giving you that extra 10%. Um, so I am, I am preaching the virtues of fit legs. James and ankle flexibility honest honestly honestly well, I just wish I was there and able to drop into the pool and, I know you know I know I I'd know. love to, if I would love to be doing that I don't have a pool at my place how lucky is it that people near you can just trot along even in isolation get themselves a half hour in your in your top endless pool there and just get the flow going and enjoy the water oh man what i'd give to be able to do that i know i know we're very 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 fortunate right well listen james it's i don't want to take up any more of your time because i know it's late at night for you and it's um fairly early morning for me so um thank you so much i really appreciate it and um you know all the best in lockdown <laughs> <laughs> yeah have I a good one justine nice yeah, to chat. Bye, bye, bye.